Right, welcome back to Newbie Farm. It's been a little while since we've been here in actual game time. I've been busy getting things ready for the harvest. I've been getting around to the harvest, guys. <coughs> and the harvest is now ready to start rolling, so we're going to rock and roll. Uh, I didn't think of that very well, did I? I got this, put that on the wrong side. Hold on, let's just get out and turn this round. So we can actually connect up to the header. Yes. First deliberate mistake. And the second. All I've been doing is looking after the animals. Oh, and uh, Jack has been busy. He's built something else. He's no, not only is he good with metal, but and he's also very good with the... Let's try and get this thing to turn. This has got too good a turning circle for the trailer. That's the problem with this. Now we would leave that there. Oh, we should back out of that, all right. He's built us a barn. Now we put it down on the... Uh, big metal, the new metal. And by the way, that's also ready to go. And I'm just going to hook up to this hair. I, this is only a small header. Now, you may re recognize this combine. It's the one from the uh, DLC. I took one look and I thought, yes, I need this. It's better than the Matthew Wash used. And, and I decided for once not to use the uh, uh, Massey off the Ma uh, Black Sheep Modern Excellent Massey Pack. Right, so I'm going to get this down. And we're also interested in a um, hay storage, loose hay and straw storage. And that's also down by the on that big meadow. We're not going to need all that grass at the moment, I hope. Right, we're gonna. No. Just need to put this into, f into three just so we can get down a little bit quicker. And because of the work he's been doing, Jack is taking a few days off just as harvest starts. Right, now there's gonna be sunny for the next few days I'm going to start with the field just to our left uh, I think this one's wheat then do the barley field and get the gra uh, get the straw cleared up on both of those as we cut uh, as we clear the field and that will go in loose hopefully into our new store I'm not certain how much that hold what it won't hold we will buy it up All right, I'm just going to well, leave that there. <laughs> yes. Of course, we just walk back and get the uh, tractor. <laughs> tractor and trailer. No, it's, uh, yes, say it's been a while in game time. I think we were in early summer when you were the last one. I went right through early summer, all through midsummer, and then we just start late summer, and the crops are ready. Crops are ready a bit early because I think I'm using the because I'm using the wilds. Uh, Geo. Now, what did I do with the other tractor? That's a good question. What did I do with the other tractor? Did I, did I park that in there somewhere? Ah. Yeah. Now what did I do with it? I've been so busy playing around with tractors. Oh, did I tuck that in there ready to clean the... Uh, clean these out, which I have done, in which case it's not there. Ah, it's up here. <sighs> First find your tractor. Uh, I I haven't disconnected that yet, so we better just. Oops. Uh, 
Could I just unhook the little wheel on a stick? Oops, take the handbrake off. I think we should try forward, shall we? I'm not going to stick those in here, I'm going to stick them in front of the silage, I think. All these silage bales are ready to use, and we have been using quite a few silage bales. Let's start on the first lot we did. Now we're getting through those, I think I'm going to need more silage. In fact, I'm certain I'm going to need more silage. I'm not certain if I can unhook. Yes. Let's hope we can unhook that as it is. Put the brake on and we just try. Not so much unhook, let's whether I can hook her back up again afterwards. That's going to be the uh, burning question. Take the handbrake off. Oh, put the handbrake off. Into gear, yeah, oh yes, that looks that's gonna be okay. Oh, we just have to convert this trailer here back far too quick. Oh. Now we try and get the first one of these not done today at least well on the way and I'm going to let you have the full harvest including the grass cutting upwards and making the hay but that looks like that could be fun and games look a little towards the end of the um, midsummer well, it looks like it's going to hit us now with the rain we had very little rain up till now as I'm using the, the wild geo I should should be expecting a lot more rain. Right now we're going to cheat a bit here and we're going to change capacity. I think we go with that. I think this should be able to pull it all right. We'll soon find out anyway. Take that down again. And there are other things, can the spoke get in there? So I don't really want a header trailer for the combine using that. It's a smaller header than I was going to be using. With the Massey, it's about six metres, this is about four and a half metre header. There'll be no GPS on this. I'm going to have to use some of this storage space over here, either for bales or to put equipment in. May well put equipment in there. I haven't as yet decided. Right, we're gonna sit this down here for now. We're soon have to fill this up with juice. We're down to 26 litres. I'm gonna sit that here, switch it off. And we don't particularly want to waste any more juice. So I'll go to this side. But I took one, as I sound about this, I took one look at it and thought, yes, that's what we need. Uh, oh, I know I haven't done. I haven't connected up, I don't think, the PTO. I don't know if you... I'm not sure if we've got it now, we'll soon find out. Up, oh, onto the body. Oh yes, we got it. Just take it off and go and be try and manoeuvre this into the correct place. I think we go we go forward, that's it. it. Takes a little while for it to think about it. Now we've got to be a bit careful here because the way I've got it, I'm going to have the spout on the wrong side. We may well uh, 
Oh, we can do it like this, can't we? If we come up here... <laughs> so I'm muttering to myself... Oh, now we can back trying hard not to actually... Drawing too much of the crop into the dust. And... Away we jolly well go. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on cruise. I'm going to slow this down about, about where we are now. I think about four miles and I'll bunk onto cruise. Oops. be better if I was actually cutting it all. I've no idea how fast this will go, but uh, I wouldn't have thought they would be doing much more than this. But we've got the, the wheat. Uh, this cannot chop straw, by the way. This can only put a, a, a swarf. So uh, we'll be collecting all the straw from both these fields. Look at the way we're getting through it now. We're going to need it. We have already bred, I think there's three extra cows. And I think we will have quite a few more to come. Oh, well, a few more. We have one more anyway to come. But because of the work I've done on here, we're almost out of cash. In fact, we're about 300,000 and we are the bank at the moment. And I'll give this about two headlands and that should do it. This isn't running bad at all, you know. I'm going to slow down a bit now, come up this hill. We may have to drop that down to uh, the first set of CVTs. Well, it's only just going to make it. But can we actually turn this? If we miss a bit, I don't think I'm going to worry too much although I do need as much out as I can get <laughs> yes, this is a very lumpy field so a lot of ups and downs on it in fact I may well have to put that down to the first set down to one I don't think I need bored to set that up for a maximum of four mile an hour. Oh yeah, what's I going to talk about? Oh yes, um, that's what I'm talking about, uh, Eustace Farmer. A good, good friend of mine. He's taking a little bit of a break. I, I knew his videos took quite a while to make, but the amount of work and production values would go into it. But he was signed today on his uh, I'm taking a break video, and it takes him a around three to four days to actually work everything out and get everything done which is why you don't see quite so many useless farmer videos as you do for us who factory produce them now I'm, my production values are nowhere near as good as his nowhere near well that shouldn't be going that far Oh, we almost got our first uh, tank full. Not so how much that uh, trailer holds, a bit like nine, nine thousand, I think. I think we might do three Edlands. Uh, looking like I want enough room to bad turn around. I ought to really be filling the head up, but the uh, kind of everything. Yeah, they've given quite a bit of insight into how he goes about things. And I thought I'd, I'd follow suit a bit. Now mine, I don't work on much editing at all. It's basically lining the sound and the pictures up because I use a separate sound program to the 
program I use for the pictures. Pictures I I use OBS Studio, but for sound I use Audacity, which I I prefer because I can do quite a bit of post production on the sound. That's where the work goes in. I try and take some of the noise out and boost my voice a bit. Right, I know you all really want to hear me. Oh, we might be almost there. I think. Can we make the band before we have to? Yeah, 94, we yeah, should do. And that's about all. I, From the moment I hit record to the moment I hit stop, I tried to put, just put all that in. There is one series I'm doing now, The Drifter. I am toying with the idea. Let's stop here because I'm not going to make it if not. Just turn that off in a moment. Now, hopefully, the pipe should be out. There it is. Now, can we can we get the track and trailer under? Or the trailer under, anyway. Without cutting my own head off. Yes, you won't see big, uh, gra clever graphics in any of my videos. It's it's a close uh, book to me. I I have a story or something I want to do, and that's as far as I go. Also, you won't see many of the new, more popular maps. I I always reckon that enough. People are doing the really popular maps, but it doesn't need anybody else doing them. I'm going to have to take this out of the way. Put the handbrake on. Knock out of gear. Well, that's not too bad. I think we're going to get two fills in here. Do you think it's. What's that? One and a half laps round, and we filled the combine up for the first time. I'll just take that off. I was going to do another headland. We should be all right. I'll leave that here. Eh? So you see all the accidents, everything that <laughs> shouldn't happen goes out. I don't, I don't miss anything. If something goes wrong, I like to show it, but that's just my way of doing things. And also, as I sound at the maps, I don't use the, the big popular maps. I, I play the little maps I want to play. I prefer smaller maps. As big as I go with Sinofka Knot and Blickling. And that's about as big as I want to go. Which is one of the reasons I don't play Stevie's maps. Stevie's maps are excellent. But for my own personal taste, they're a little bit too big. So I, I play simple, small maps. This. Oh, well, it's not that small. Um, Watts Farm is perfect for me. Old Ridge on 15 was perfect for me. They're the sort of maps I enjoy playing. Totally, I'm not interested at all in felling trees. I've done my fill of it, which is one of the reasons I stopped the 12-day uh, challenge because it, it was going to involve yet more and even more felling of trees, and I'd I'd had me fill of it. I know some people enjoy it, and it is part of it. I, I mainly enjoy having one or two animals, cows and sheep, not so much pigs. Cause I've found with pigs that aren't enough to not, which is one of the reasons I'm going to drop them off that. Pigs off that one. I've spent all my time uh, growing crops to feed the pigs. Doesn't make economic sense to me. So I'm using up what food I've got there, then we're going 
to get rid of the uh, pigs and keep and increase the amount of cows. Cows are nice, especially if you've got the uh, highest grass or the grass is high mod in, so you ain't got to worry about picking up any grass. It's great, you can find it. Well, I use a uh, fermented silo, silo, silo just normally. Well, I don't think I quite got that right, but do you know what I mean? <sighs> but it, it's simple. It's like me, it's simple. doesn't like this hill here. And I'm gonna, one of the things with doing this and having the loose uh, straw and hay and I realised I had no reason to have that forage wagon. So I, I have used but not a lot and I want to use it again so uh, I'm hoping it picks everything up that forage wagons normally do. I haven't tried it. I know it picks grass up and high up, so it should pick straw up. We will find out again. How are we doing now? I think I want to get a shot. I think I might take a shot when we're unloading next time. Be thumbnails. The shot harvest the start. Oh. Uh, you see the new buildings once, and they're only just uh, placeables. You'll see them once we get uh, uh, onto the grass, which will be a few episodes time. Now, to get back to what points I was making about uh, the videos I like to make, I. I'm a little bit selfish really, I play maps I enjoy playing. So you won't see me as much as much as I enjoy it, West Coast is a bit too much for me. It's an excellent map and all that, but it's just too much. Alright, now we start going across the field and how we're doing on 87%. I think we will really, before we turn around, we get to see if we can get to the end, and before we turn around, we will empty this off. Not a big tank capacity on this, but kind of suits me. Actually, look at that, I could almost drive up next to it and clear these up at the same time. Just stop them. Clear these up a bit. Put out the pipe. Can we see the pipe on this? Oh, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Can't see the pipe. I would we... try up ahead and try the tractor into it. Right. I know, this time I want to take a shot. Um, hmm. So I might have been better off. Ah, pipe didn't go out. You know why, don't you? Guess what I didn't do, I didn't pull the pipe in. And that's right, because I remember when I looked at this and I thought, that is not going to go in and out every time, because that's locked in place. You might probably, once you've got that, once you've got that out, you're going to leave that pipe out. Should be interesting to see. Let's just have a look, see how that works. Maybe on hydraulics there, but yeah, it is. Yeah, it's hydraulic there. Yeah. Oh, matter he locks. Hmm. Now, can we get this? We just.
Let's get this in place now. Oh, and I still ain't cleared these off. Let's just. And we come out of cab so we can actually get a shot. I want to get the best angle, that looks, that looks about right. We got it. I think we'll go and empty this off, and I think we'll quit an episode. But I think we're going to be very close to being full on this. In fact, I think we are full. Let's bring up. Yes, we are. We'll go and fill this up with juice. So whilst we're making our way back to tip this first load off, that's not nine photos and six photos and so on. So under two tankfuls of the uh, harvester. We may have to get a slightly bigger trailer. I'm not seeing if the uh, massy trailers are a bit bigger. And the little bits were missed, we have to pick all those up. Alright, so I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. This is the 24 day season event. There's a number of us doing it. Uh, Farmer Klein. Who's doing rather nicely? Who's doing too well? Doug Sawley, who I have a little bit of a battle with, who's also doing rather too well. Um, trying to think, who else is on there? Uh, Grizzly, but he's got, I think he's got personal problems at the moment, so he's not putting out any videos just at the moment. And he's also started his own little business up, selling pens. It's a, I think it's a part. Uh, you know, it's, it's a hobby of wood turning. So he's uh, turning, so he's making barrels for pens, ballpoints, fountain pens a lot. Very nice indeed. I'm trying to think who else is in the challenge now. There is some others, but the, I have them all listed in the description on this video, so we'll go ahead and catch them up. I don't think uh, Darren's doing much, Darren's castle's doing much at the moment. I do like the way this thing revs up every time you do something like this. I'm not sure it might be the better fill mod. Which is I'll put back in again. Uh, just drop it down right. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so far, oh yeah, thanks very much for watching and all that. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber, how about subscribing? Go on, treat yourself this Christmas. Take out a subscription to uh, to this channel. No, I'm gonna. We'll probably regret doing this, but I'm gonna refill this now. I mean regret because I don't know if I'll get out of it again. Any comments, questions, queries or suggestions, uh, feel free to post them. I might not take any notice, but uh, I will read every every comment and try and uh, comment back and try and reply. Well, I hate to see what they're making at the brewery. Need to be a bit quiet here. I'm trying to background. Alright, I think with that, uh, it's as good a time as any as we journey back to the uh, field. I will finish this off until the afternoon of uh, the first day of late summer. 
uh, next week. You have been warned. Maybe more of the same, but we may just get a chance we get this field done to see the uh, forage uh, wagon in, in operation. Alright, so it's a uh, mammon saying, uh, cheerio, Pano, cheerio.